<laughs> Welcome back to Terror Select. Dave and Savin back for more Killer Frequency, where I'm locked outside the radio studio, and my butthole is puckered tighter than a... something really tight. You know, he was just complaining happy that the game wasn't that spooky. By the so, man welcome to Act 2. Out here? In the open? You Hello? won't need that for anything, I'm sure. Well, on the plus side, if I die, I don't have to keep beat. God damn right. it. Hey, look, another one. I don't have to keep answering people's awful phone calls. Well, that's frankly quite rude. Hey, look, another one. I wonder what these are all for. So she said she threw it out the... I can't jump. Well, it depends on which window it was. Oh, hey, look, another one. What the fuck was that? You hitting the stacks of paper. I don't know what these are for. Neither do I. All right. <clears throat> Which window would she have thrown it out of? Clearly the basement window. She just like set it outside gently, right? Goodbye, random dude. That's probably fine. It's a free country. People can be outside if they want to. Hey, look. Here it is. What a Long convenient happenstance home. that it would just land on that uh, that mattress there. Mm-hmm. Also, if you go back that way, I think there was a fuse box. Back which? Uh, which the way? way where the record was. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that was me. That was fine. It's fine, nothing to worry about. Seventy, okay. So we need seventy total. Yep. And just take those burned ones out. Are Don't. they burnt? Not not that one, but the other three are. Oh, As you yeah. Can tell right, by the... I'm gonna have to hunt around for some new fuses. Alright, so you need 70 watts, or whatever unit. Uh, amps, I think. Sure, let's go with that. I don't know. Uh, did you ever use an old school fuse box? I never used any kind of fuse box, to be perfectly honest. Well, you've used circuit breakers, right? Yeah, I never actually had to fuck around with my circuit breaker. Really? Really. That's weird. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever fucked around with my circuit breaker either. But that's yeah. because it didn't actually go out. Yeah, uh, I've never had my fuses blow. To do that's thirty-five. That'd be forty. Forty. Then we need a thirty somewhere. No, we need two more fifteens. That makes sense too. But do we have fifteens? Thirty-five in my hands, ready to go. Can't sprint, can't run, this is super bad. Uh, bingo! There we go. The fuck was that? That's a good question. Do you want to know the answer? Uh, I'm sure I'll. Oh, it opened that. <laughs> I could probably survive that fall. Could you, Forrest? I don't know, man. That's like two old feet. Okay, now how do I close I... it? Uh, don't worry about that. What do you mean, don't worry about that? I mean, it's fine. You can just have an entrance to your building unlocked and unguarded. Everything about this is off. It's like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? What the 
fuck? Bruh. What My man hell? does have a sex doll dungeon Pat down here. He's not gonna believe this. Oh, there's a key. I'll just take that. Might be important. Why are they under the desk, man? That's fucking creepy. Man, I did not like this. No. But you're still gonna eat all this shit around. Look, if I'm one thing, it's fucking consistent, alright? That that is true. An admirable character trait. Not really. <laughs> Former Gallows High Captain Chuck Brady suffered at Brody. Suffered a career-ending injury as victim of financial festival disaster late last year to help him on his road to recovery by buying up some lottery tickets. We get sucking get back on his feet, pun on attendance, drop lottery tickets in the bucket. Okay. Staff surge of power station. Gallows Creek Power Station hires 20 new staff to and record hire. 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Aunt Williams. Rebecca Allen. Kim Walker. Chuck Brody. Uh, how do I... Hold on. There we go. Big wheel breaks fee free. 15 injured who is to blame. Harvest Festival closed early this year after tragedy. Struck only hours after opening. Big wheel broke free from its supports and rolled through town. Jesus Christ. I that fucking head in Resident Evil 3 remake. Thanks, have you played that? What? Resident Evil 3 remake. You were there when I did it. Was I? Oh, yes. Yes, you were. I don't think that's true. It was you and Scow and Tyler and me. And I was playing. I think. I know Tyler played it with you. I don't remember me. Maybe. I mean, the game's like an hour and a half long. Who the fuck yeah. knows? Uh, all right. So Kim's name is now Kim Stein. Good to know. Crime Syndicate impounded. You don't impound the Crime Syndicate. Inside Informant walks free. Anonymous and Hereafter referred to as R.A. has walked free on no charges. Okay. Two year investigation in the festival accident is concluded. Investigators blame two engineers that were contracted in from the local power station. Lead engineer Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett were distracted talking about horror movies while assembling Big Wheel, which led to various constructive mistakes. Ordered to do community service. So he has names here. Recommends all the locals get their flu shot upon us. CD4 is no different than the other. Make sure you're protected. Look out, tragedy. Five dead, 16 injured after brakes fail on bus. Tragedy struck. Deceased have been identified as Mr. P, uh, D. Rudd, M. Houghton, P. Stein, Mr. P. Stein, Miss K. Stein, Miss J. Mildred. Wait. He killed them with the bus? The incident is not being treated as suspicious. Interesting. Wait. Aunt Williams and Sean Everett were not on there that There will bus. be a test on this later, so make sure you remember everything. Sick of being a lo local celebrity. People are so, being, are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. Selling my trailer and leaving town ASAP. Okay, so... Whoever owned 101... 63 McCready Street, Gallows Creek was the informant in the crime syndicate. R.A. And stole a few cars. Yes. Okay. I turned mine into a career. Is your car safe?
got by local X. Christine's gas and repair has been sold to a man who won the lottery 14 years ago. Keep me busy in the evening. He has asked to remain anonymous. Presumably that's Mr. Brody, because they bought him a bunch of lottery tickets. Right, okay. Infamous author of a tell-all book, Diary of a Car Thief, moves out to Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. Stole our cars, and then she stole our time and money, says our reviewer, Jim Randy, last year, more on page 15. So it's a she. R.A. R.A. Rebecca Allen. Rebecca Allen is the car thief. Mm-hmm. Who then okay. owned a trailer and then sold it. She was in the car club. Kim Walker uh, married into Kim Stein. Uh, was in the improv club. Aunt Williams was also in the car club. Chuck Brody was the athletics club. Okay. Also a power station, trailer park, gas station. So you can put trailer park with, um, what's her name? Back, huh? Gas station with Chuck Brody. Yep. Power station with Aunt Williams, because he was yep. called in. Hospital with Kim Walker. Presumably. So it's Rebecca Allen. This was Kim Walker. Need engineer Aunt Williams is right there. Uh, this is Rebecca Allen. Rebecca oh, Allen. Oh, Rebecca. Yep. That would be Aunt, I think. Yeah. He's the engineer. Yep. Your car That's... save. From the thief. That's Brody. And Brody. Okay, good job. We did it. And what was any of this for? Like you said, it sounds like it's going to be important. Or it seems like it's going to be important. It does seem that way. There's even a little doll pointing right at it. Let me take a screenshot of that so I don't have to walk all the way back here. Pretty. All right. Yeah, so uh, why was why was your janitor dealing with uh, this? Is he moonlighting as a private eye, or is he the stalker? The whistling man, even. Well, this place is gross. Let's go upstairs. The janitor didn't really do his job very well. I think he was... I wonder how the show's going. I think he was fired a while ago, Saban. Yeah, fired from life. I think, but I'm not sure. But I, I suspect he was probably the POV on the uh, prologue. I need a key to get in there. Because who else would be, you know, out back behind the radio station at this hour? So you're saying he's not the Whistling Man, then? I'm, I'm just saying I think. Because it would make sense if, you know, you're playing the only other person who's supposed to be here. Why is the door open? Isn't so I didn't close it. Song, oh, okay. And now for Jesus Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I got it's fucking locked out! Happened. Shut up! Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked up. Two forty a.m. Still an hour and a half to go minimum. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement, made by our creepy janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling man. Oh. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, 
Rebecca Allen and Ann Williams. Oh, we have to do all the shit again. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target? That's right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. How am I supposed to figure out if he's at... I'm confused. This one goes up here. How am I supposed to figure out who's Wait, where? Wait, wasn't Kim the car thief? No. R.A., remember? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. God damn it. He's going to the gas station, I think. Yeah, it's a 24-hour gas station. Of course that's where he's going. It's the only one that's open. Yeah. Eat. Alright. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? The gas station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Hello? Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy. But we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Boris Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. <laughs> he can't help the voice. Oh God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget what, dude? Forget? For, forget what? Forget? No, no, man! I gotta get out of here! I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... <laughs> Jeez! Oh. It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? I... I... Is Chuck... I don't know. Hang on, we're getting a call. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! Forrest, the whole goddamn gas station's gone up. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. I got everyone to follow me out. <laughs> Thank God for that. The ambulance was blown to hell. Uh, why do we have one ambulance? Yeah. Because it's a fucking bomb. tiny, tiny town. I'm assuming it's here. Yeah. yeah. I gotta go. And then the hospital Wait, is right I... here. Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Oh, good job saving a guy. You know, occasionally we have our, our moments. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 189.16 The Stream <laughs> Alright, uh Really? You, have to, you want me to do this? Okay, hold on There we go 
Uh, next time on Terror Select. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Okay, at least she has a legit reason to start. Maybe mannequin room you mentioned before. Can I not? I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it and save it. Yeah. We saved the dude's life. Good job, Dave. I'm proud of you. It was actually easy because even if it wasn't 24 hours... Kim Walker is already dead. Rebecca Allen isn't in town anymore. So it was and kind of a 50-50 there. Yeah. I don't know how we were supposed to figure this one out.